the launch of NASA's Voyager probes was like the start of an amazing trip into outer space. It showed that we can keep an eye on not just Earth but also everything in our solar system and beyond. Even after 46 years, these awesome spacecraft are still giving scientists new and stunning information about space. Although their memory is 3 million times smaller than that of our smartphones and they're 38,000 times slower than our fastest 5G internet connection, these incredible probes still lead the way in exploring space. Now Voyager 1 has just made an impossible discovery in interstellar space, one that challenges everything we thought we knew about the universe. It found something so unusual that scientists are left scratching their heads. But what exactly did it find and how does it redefine our understanding of the cosmos? Let's find out. On a special day, September 5, 1977, from a place called Cape Canaveral in Florida, something amazing happened. Voyager 1 began its journey into space, launched by a powerful rocket called Titan Centaur. Just 15 days later, on August 20, 1977, Voyager 2 joined in, starting its adventure into the universe. Their main job was to check out the big gas planets in our solar system like Jupiter and Saturn and the moons around them. But guess what? These space travelers went above and beyond. They ventured way out into our cosmic neighborhood, breaking numerous records on their astonishingly long trip. They've been going longer than any other spacecraft ever, and they've gone farther from Earth than anything humans have made before. They even ventured into a place called interstellar space, which is like going into a whole new part of our galaxy that no one had explored before. These space pioneers, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, are more than 12 billion miles away from us now. Still, they continue to surprise scientists with the amazing things they're finding out there. And they've recently found something so unexpected that no one saw it coming. The voyages of these twin probes have done some awesome stuff. More than 40 years ago, they observed the moons of Jupiter and Saturn and totally surprised scientists. People used to think these moons were boring and full of holes like our moon, but nope, they're buzzing with activity. Voyager 2 was the first of the twins to swing by Uranus in 1986, and just three years later it zoomed past Neptune. Interestingly, it's the only spacecraft that has ever done that. As these spacecraft continue on their amazing journey, NASA is doing some tricks to ensure they keep working. They've turned off some unnecessary parts and heaters to save power so these spacecraft can keep going strong until at least 2030. For the scientists and engineers who have been part of this incredible adventure from the start, it's a mix of happy and sad feelings. They worked hard, and now, when they thought the Voyager missions were almost done, a shocking discovery emerged from outer space. The information sent back by Voyager 1 and its twin spacecraft has become a treasure trove for scientists. They sparked tons of discoveries and got people excited about space. These are two spacecraft that were built extra carefully, kind of like stable platforms, so they could take clear pictures and gather data while zooming through space. Even before they reached the outer planets, their pictures were already blowing scientists' minds. Voyager 1 started sending pictures of Jupiter, even though it was still far from the planet. People at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory got excited when they saw the first pictures of Jupiter's swirling clouds and the famous Great Red Spot. But the big moment came when the Voyagers found something amazing on Jupiter's moon. This moon, a bit bigger than Earth's moon, turned out to be the most active volcano in our whole solar system. Voyager 1's tools picked up weird signals from Io, and the pictures they took showed huge volcanic eruptions and stuff flying out into space. One of Io's volcanoes called Pele erupted tremendously high, even more than Mount Everest, and covered an area almost as big as France. The Voyagers combined took more than 33,000 pictures of Jupiter and its moons. They showed how stunning Jupiter is and all the different landscapes on its moons. Before this recent and more shocking discovery, these twin spacecraft have been finding awesome things since they started their trip. Another big surprise was finding out Jupiter has rings, although they're not very bright. This discovery made Jupiter even more interesting. Also, Voyager 2 discovered that Europa, one of Jupiter's 53 moons, has a thick icy shell more than 60 miles thick. These discoveries made scientists rethink what they thought about these faraway things in space and got them curious about whether icy moons like Europa could be places where life could exist. As the voyagers left Jupiter, they got a boost from the planet's gravity that acted like a powerful kick, sending them towards Saturn. 
This kick was exceptionally important because it helped them break free from the sun's pull and keep going into space. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 went their separate ways after that, heading to new places. Voyager 1 got close to Saturn's moon Titan, which has a kind of orange hazy air around it. Scientists got curious about Titan's mysteries, so they studied its complicated chemistry. Then Voyager 1 turned away from the other planets and started going beyond our solar system. On the other hand, Voyager 2 had some amazing adventures too. In 1986, it flew by Uranus and found 10 new moons, adding to the total count. Three years later, it reached Neptune, showing us the amazing things about this faraway ice giant. Voyager 2 even measured winds on Neptune going as fast as 1,000 miles per hour, the fastest ever on a planet in our solar system. When the spacecraft got close to Neptune, just 2,980 miles away, it gave us new and incredible details about this distant world. Neptune's biggest moon, Triton, turned out to be one of the coldest spots in our solar system, with temperatures dropping to a freezing minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit. Triton also had these cool ice volcanoes that shot out nitrogen gas and icy stuff into its thin air. All these discoveries made us realize how different and interesting the planets and moons in our solar system can be, even the frozen ones. Imagine a space adventure story, and one person who made a big difference in keeping it going was the famous stargazer Carl Sagan. He was part of the team that took pictures for the Voyager mission, and he wanted to snap one last set of pictures before turning off the cameras. These pictures would be like a special gift for everyone on Earth, a final look at our home from way out in space. Sagan didn't give up, and it paid off. On Valentine's Day in 1990, Voyager 1 turned its camera back towards the inner solar system and took 60 pictures. The most famous one is called the Pale Blue Dot. It was taken from 3.8 billion miles away, making it the farthest picture ever taken of our planet. In the photo, Earth looks tiny, like a pale blue dot in the huge space around it. Even after 40 years, these spacecraft are still out there sending us important information from the farthest parts of space. Now, let's talk about something a bit old school. The Voyager probes use an ancient 8-track tape system. Yes, you heard it right. 8-track tapes were a big deal in the 70s, and these probes are still rocking them. It just shows how smart the people who planned this mission were, making sure these old tapes could still do the job. But why 8-track tapes, you might be wondering. Well, that's a story worth hearing. In the early days of exploring space, the kind of digital storage we use today was just starting out. So they needed something tough and reliable to store important data, and those 8-track tapes turned out to be the perfect choice. What's even more interesting is that the info on these tapes isn't just regular music. It's valuable science data about planets, moons, and space between the stars. Yes, these tapes hold the answers to some of the biggest mysteries in the universe. The Voyager spacecraft face crazy things like astonishing hot and cold temperatures, space radiation, and the emptiness of space. But surprisingly, these old explorers keep going strong. It's like sending your grandparents on an adventure in Antarctica, and not only do they survive, but they thrive. The Voyager missions had this awesome move called gravity assist maneuvers. Think of it like this Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, two bold space explorers, we're on a big mission to explore way out in our solar system. To get to these faraway places and gather important information, they needed a little help, something more than just their engines. Here's where gravity assists come in, and it's kind of like a space dance. Instead of only using their engines, these spacecraft did this cool celestial dance with some of the solar system's big planets. They used the strong pull of these giants to slingshot themselves forward, saving fuel and getting the speed they needed to visit lots of different places. Gravity assist, also known as a gravitational slingshot, is about grabbing some speed from a planet as the spacecraft goes by. Imagine Voyager 1 rolling up to Jupiter, a huge gas giant with a pull to match its size. The smart minds at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory made sure Voyager 1 swirled past Jupiter at just the right angle and speed. Jupiter's gravity pulled at the spacecraft, making it go faster like a space power-up. But here's the tricky part. There's an art to this move. If Voyager 1 had approached Jupiter the wrong way, it could have been a space disaster, sending the spacecraft way off course. Luckily, the NASA experts aced it, and the cosmic dance with the planets was a big success. 
the level of accuracy needed is mind-blowing, showing just how incredible the Voyager missions are. So, these amazing gravity assist moves let Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 do incredible things in space without using up all their fuel, like winning a cosmic race with style. The Voyager spacecraft are famous, and here's a fun part. Each spacecraft carries something extra special called the Golden Record. It's like a space mixtape with greetings, music, and sounds from Earth, all meant to show what our world is like to any intelligent beings out there. This part of the Voyager mission is super cool, like a time capsule from the past, offering a chance for other civilizations to find out about us. Carl Sagan, a big brain in space science, thought of this great idea. Now, let's jump to 2012, a really significant year for space explorers and enthusiasts alike. Voyager 1, after over 35 years of adventuring through the vastness of space, achieved a milestone that no spacecraft had ever reached before. It ventured beyond the heliosphere, the protective bubble created by the sun's particles and magnetic field, and entered into interstellar space. This achievement marked the first time a human-made object had ever left the influence of our sun and ventured into the space between stars. Interstellar space is an area that scientists had only theorized about, a mysterious and uncharted territory filled with unknowns. The heliosphere acts like a protective shield, blocking and deflecting much of the cosmic radiation and interstellar winds. Once Voyager 1 crossed this boundary, known as the heliopause, it entered an environment where the influence of the sun wanes and the particles from other stars become more prominent. This region is unlike any other that had been directly observed before, presenting a new frontier for exploration and discovery. Voyager 1's trip into this new region was a monumental event in the history of space exploration. It provided scientists with the first direct measurements of the interstellar medium, offering invaluable data about the density, temperature, and magnetic fields of this new environment. The spacecraft's instruments, designed to last only a few years, continued to function remarkably well, sending back information that challenged existing theories and opened up new questions about the nature of our galaxy. The data collected by Voyager 1 in interstellar space has been groundbreaking. Scientists were able to study the transition zone between the heliosphere and interstellar space, learning about the interactions between solar winds and the cosmic rays from other stars. They discovered that the boundary was not a simple, smooth surface but a complex and turbulent region. This provided new insights into how our solar system interacts with the rest of the galaxy, influencing theories about the dynamics of stellar wind bubbles and the overall structure of the Milky Way. Voyager 1's journey into interstellar space also had significant implications for our understanding of cosmic radiation. In the heliosphere, the sun's magnetic field helps to shield the planets from high-energy particles originating outside our solar system. Once Voyager 1 crossed into interstellar space, it encountered higher levels of cosmic rays, providing a clearer picture of the radiation environment beyond our solar bubble. This information is crucial for planning future deep space missions including potential human exploration of distant planets. The significance of Voyager 1's crossing into interstellar space extends beyond scientific discoveries. It symbolizes humanity's desire to explore, to push beyond the known and venture into the unknown. The spacecraft carries with it the golden record, a message from Earth to any intelligent beings that might encounter it, containing sounds and images representing the diversity of life and culture on our planet. This journey represents not only a technical and scientific achievement, but also a profound statement about our place in the universe. Voyager 1's entry into interstellar space in 2012 was a groundbreaking achievement, marking the first time a human-made object had left the protective bubble of our solar system. This milestone provided scientists with unprecedented data about the interstellar medium, challenged existing theories, and opened up new questions about our galaxy. The journey of Voyager 1 continues to inspire and remind us of our innate desire to explore and understand the cosmos. Even with all this fame, what makes the Voyagers truly special is how they keep finding amazing things even in the darkest corners of space. For more than 10 years, they've been exploring the space beyond our solar system, giving us precious information about places we can't easily reach. And then something really shocking happened. In the never-ending stretch of space, Voyager 1 picked up a strange signal. This weird signal was like something from a science fiction story, 
making scientists extremely excited. They weren't sure what it was but knew it was a big deal. Voyager 1, which had already done so much, was still finding out incredible things from places far away. So let's wrap up this amazing story of the Voyager mission. These spacecraft, born from human curiosity and innovation, started their journey over 40 years ago. They weren't just about exploring our solar system but about pushing the limits of what's possible both in space and in the human spirit. As they continue their journey, the mysterious signal they picked up reminds us of how vast and full of surprises the universe is. Every new discovery made by Voyager 1 and its twin spacecraft brings us closer to understanding the big, exciting, and sometimes puzzling world we live in.